challenge. The user has to create a signature in Outlook 2010, but doesn't know how to accomplish this. Solution. TT Guide uses a step-by-step -step approach to guide the user through any Windows application until the desired aim is reached. TT Guide is always available via a simple click onto the G icon in the system tray of Windows. TT Guide automatically detects the currently active application and shows a list of specific help units, which are called guides. The user can easily narrow down the list by adding keywords in the search field of TT Guide. Upon entering a query, TT Guide instantly suggests units that correspond to the search request, making it even easier to find a matching guide. If you would like to see further information on a guide, just hover over the search result with the mouse. You will then see a full description of the unit, as well as a usage counter and user ratings for this guide. Let's start the guide now and see how it navigates us through Outlook 2010. As you can see, TT Guide focuses only on the relevant part of the application, where the next interaction is about to happen. The interaction object is highlighted by a frame the control window contains the instructions for the next interaction and the control bar of TT Guide. Let us now continue the guidance through Outlook 2010. Mission accomplished. The signature was successfully created in Outlook 2010. After completing a guide, the user can rate it. Thanks to the rating feature, you receive direct feedback from the users with regard to the quality and benefit of the guides. We've now seen how TT Guide helps the user to reach his desired aim. But what about the creation of such a guide? Is it difficult? No, it's not. You can simply open the recorder of TT Guide by a double click on the G icon. The small toolbar includes all functions you need to create a new guide. Click on the appropriate icon to begin the recording and just fulfill the steps which are needed to accomplish the desired task. The preview window shows the last recorded interaction, which helps the author to keep track of the current recording progress. Entries during the recording are generally marked as free inputs, so it's adequate to record a placeholder only. That's it. We can now stop the recording and upload the guide afterwards. Before the upload to TT Guide Base, which is the central repository of the suite, the guide must be saved locally. As you can see, the title and keywords of the guide are automatically included, and we can now confirm the upload.
After that, the guide is directly available, and we can start the guidance as shown before.